Hi, it's Kim from FCSS and welcome to Storytime Outside. Today our story is called The Curious Little Mouse. So there was a curious little mouse that lived in a hole in the wall. So I've already drawn the hole in the wall. The mouse wanted to go exploring one day. So he looked out that hole in the wall. He looked that way and he looked that way and the coast was clear. So out little mouse came and he went in a circle around the room. He got back to his hole and said, oh my goodness, that was so fun. Next time, I think I'm gonna go in a bigger circle around the room. So little mouse was feeling quite brave. So again, he poked his head out that hole in the wall. He looked that way and he looked that way. The coast was still clear. So out came little mouse. He followed that path and this time made a bigger circle around the room. Wow, that was so exciting, thought little mouse. He had never been so far from home. He was feeling so brave in the fact that he wanted to go again and even a bigger circle around the room. So again, Mouse poked his head out the hole in the wall. He looked that way. He looked that way. The coast was still clear. So out came little Mouse. He followed his same path. But when he got this way, he went in a big circle. In fact, he went in such a big circle that he ended up outside. <gasps> little Mouse froze. He looked around, he saw trees, and he saw grass and rocks and sparkling white snow. He had never seen the snow before. He had so much fun. He played for a little while and thought he better get home. But he wanted to bring some things home, so he stuffed his pockets full of rocks and sticks. He was so excited to get home to show his mummy. When all of a sudden, he heard, frozen in his tracks. A cat! Ah! He had to run home as fast as he can. So he began running as fast as he can and he was going so fast that the rocks started falling out of his pockets. Oh no, not my rocks. There was no time to stop and pick them up. Just keep running, just keep running. That little mouse, that cat was getting very close. He was going so fast, in fact, that his sticks fell out. One landed there, one landed way over there. Not my sticks, that little mouse. He was very sad, but very scared, so he had to keep running. He kept running and running and running and then more of his stones fell out of his pockets and they landed like that. And then his last stick fell out of his pocket. He kept going and going. He was almost home when the last two stones fell out of his pockets, but he made it home in that hole in the wall just in time. Oh, he was safe, but he started sobbing and crying. He was so scared and so sad. His mama came over and gave him a big hug. There, there, little mouse, you're safe now. You're here with mommy. And as little mouse was hugging mommy, he looked out the window. Mama, mama, look out the window, he said. Look what I made. And so mama goes over to the window and she looks out the window. And what do you think she saw? She saw a snowman out the window. That's the end of my story, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it today. And I just wanted to show you behind this snowman is a snowman that I made earlier. For more information on how we can support you at FCSS, please visit our website at www.fcss.ca.